Hi, Dr. Lori here. The next way that you need to know about accelerating your health is through your hormones. Hormones are molecules that are produced by your endocrine system that send messages to various parts of your body. So they really do help regulate every single process that happens, like when you feel hungry, your blood pressure, your sex drive, even when it comes to digestive issues, your sleep, how you deal with stress, if you're having issues gaining or losing weight, and low energy and anxiety. They can all be linked to your hormonal system. And there's nothing more frustrating for people when you're doing everything right, you're exercising, you're busting your butt at the gym, you're buying organic foods, you're doing all the things, and yet you still feel like you're getting acne breakouts, you're tired, you can't lose weight, you get joint pains. A lot of that has to do with what your hormones are doing. And it's interesting because scientists have been taking a deeper look at what's going on and they believe that children start experiencing this surge of hormones as early as six to eight years old. And this can cause heightened emotions, more irritability, even symptoms of ADHD. So why do kids start getting these hormonal surges at such young ages? I believe it has a lot to do with our environment, the plastics we're exposed to, body washes, chemicals, they're all absorbed in the skin and they can act as endocrine disruptors. So a lot of these chemicals that we're exposed to actually mimic what estrogen does in the body and estrogen is a growth hormone. So you see young girls developing breasts at an early age, women with more fibrocystic breasts or fibroids. Even cancers are linked to hormone drivers. So if you're exposed to things in your environment and your body is not able to detoxify them or get rid of them, then that can drive different cancers and drive different disease processes in the body. So the way that we regulate our hormones is not as easy as taking a birth control pill or bioidentical hormones. We need to look at where your body is now, what the levels are, and what we can do to balance it on more of a cellular level. The way that I like to test is through urine samples, and that's actually looking at what your body is using, metabolizing, and making use of, because if you just do a blood test, which most people do, they get their blood work done and their doctor says, yep, your hormones are balanced and nothing is wrong. Meanwhile, they feel like crap and they just feel that they have so many other issues, whether it's infertility or all the ones that we listed previously. So in order to get a clinically relevant analysis of what your hormones are doing, you need to test that either through saliva or through urine. And that way we know, okay, not only what's your body producing, but what is it actually able to use. And what's really great about testing this way is that these labs give a comprehensive 12 page analysis of where exactly in the pathway things are off. I find it extremely important to test people's hormones because then it takes all the guessing out of it. And I mean, there's a lot of conclusions you can make and estimations and understanding where your hormones may be, but there's the, the pathways are so complicated that you, you could be taking a bioidentical hormone, for example. I've seen many people take testosterone just to help with their lifting brain fog, motivation, sex drive, building muscle, all the things. But really, when we test, we see that that testosterone is shuttling into the estrogen pathway. And so if that's happening, you are more prone for cancers down the road. And that's a terrifying thought to be taking something that in the short term, is making you feel good, but then you're hit with a diagnosis later thinking, wow, for all these years, I've been driving that hormonal pathway. When it comes to sex hormones like progesterone, estrogen, and testosterone, if you do not have the means to get those tested through urine or saliva, then I highly encourage you to look at your cortisol and insulin levels because those two hormones are typically the ones that get imbalanced first. If those two hormones are thrown off, then you get the downstream effect of throwing off your thyroid, your ovary function, and your sleep hormones. And the way that you know cortisol and insulin is off is if you feel hungry all the time, you have issues with blood sugar, so whether it's on lab work, your hemoglobin A1C or fasting glucose are high, or if you have stress, and who doesn't have stress? So if you find that you're less resilient to things, things start to irritate you more than they should, and you just feel like you're more anxious and on go, go, go mode all the time, then those are the two main triggers that can lead to all the other imbalances. 
Because if you think about it, your body is not going to think about intercourse and reproduction if you're on this like running from a bear, um, fight or flight mood all the time. So finding that balance, looking at all the hormones all together will make a huge impact on how you accelerate your health and how you really just get that energy, that sex drive, the mental clarity, all the things you need to know to feel amazing.